There was this viral image of you circulating across social media. You're teaching kids art, fully clothed, and people lost their minds. Thank you, the original picture had two other teachers inside of it, wearing mm. very similar clothing. It's just, you know, they weren't shaped the same way that I was shaped. Is, is this double standards when it comes to these sorts of body mm -hmm. types? I took the job because that school asked me to work there for the last three years. I volunteered at that school for seven years, three teachers, but no one wanted to do the job. You have to really care. You have to have a mm -hmm. big heart to do what you do and all teachers. Say thank you to you. Oh, wait, 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 wait. She said you gotta have a big part to do what you gotta do. I know guys, I'm the only one listening, right? You gotta have a big part to do what you gotta do. She definitely has the big parts. Thank you for being one of the first absolutely gorgeous human beings to stick up for me publicly. I, I did get a lot of love in my DMs, but publicly, that's, it's completely different. You don't know, but when you did that, it was, it was just so amazing to me to have a complete beautiful woman, stranger who never met me before, protect me like, literally like fighting like for me <laughs> having your amazing gala viral the learning curve that's coming up this thursday <laughs> who could we expect to see there we have three mayors coming to the event Stay three mayors we already know what's up she got mayors attending that <laughs> she got enough she got enough pool to bring the mayors to the art show uh <laughs> at this point look at the end of the day, I'm pretty sure it's probably females hating on you, man. Because, look, you talk about guys. Guys are probably not sitting there talking about, look, she not, you know, why why, why y'all got to make her quit? You know what I'm saying? She's just a big-ass distraction to the kid. Men aren't saying she a big-ass distraction at all. All right, I'm, I'm going to just stop playing with the puns. But, hey, look, ain't nothing wrong with that, bro. Some people are just born like that, man. She just had bo a body, you know? And it's just crazy is that the internet can throw shade at people, and I bet... I, I'm just pretty sure it was females throwing these shades. Come on now. They, they they were not getting the attention, but she was. Come on now. We already know what type of atmosphere these predominantly uh, female-based environments can be. They, they just hate one another. Empty balls save lives. It's a simple theory. Mm. Hear me out, okay? By routinely making sure he is emptied out, there's no road rage. No one's getting yelled at at Duncan's. There's no cashier that's getting yelled at for giving improper change. If everyone is just routinely self making sure that they're eating their vegetables, okay, and oh, is a different type of vegetable. You're being emptied, no one's pent hey, up. Plants. Everyone's happy because there's no pent up, oh my God, I'm angry and I don't know why, okay? If you have a big bowl of Cheerios in the morning sometimes or at night, Okay, you can make sure that you're happy and he's happy. So get on and your knees. Lowers his cholesterol the too. For a couple minutes. Make sure everyone's emptied out. And this winter season, there could be no car accidents. No one's driving too fast. Everyone's happy. We could save the world by simply just empowering ourselves or our spouses to just give some top-notch snobby knob jobs. There we go. Hey, look, she didn't say anything wrong. She didn't say anything wrong. The part about the Cheerios, you already know Cheerios and uh, are proven to lower cholesterol. All right, and we're talking about, you know, breakfast cereal. We're not talking, we're talking about the other, you know? So uh, yeah, I agree. All right, less pent up, stress, get your mans, you know? Y'all know what time it is. Why do men work so hard to get you? And then when you finally get them a chance, they won't put in the work to keep you. Oh, sometimes it don't be there when we get there. Damn. Yeah, no, I'm tired of not leaving Yelp reviews, bro. Y'all need to stop going quietly on some cool Like, I'm Pause the video. Y'all ever just went somewhere and, like, as soon as he said that, y'all ever was like, man, I'm gonna go check out this spot, man. The, the pictures look nice on Google. They got a few reviews. You don't really know about it, but the pictures look nice. They got some nice plates. I mean, professionally done, looking good. And when you get to the event or the place, it's whack. Like, boring, dry, not what you expected. Exactly what he's talking about right now. I'm, I'm not saying this about every woman. I'm not saying this a majority. I'm not saying none of that. Matter of fact, I'm not saying this the woman at all. Perhaps I did everything that I did. I pursued you. And once we got into an intimate enough environment, we realized this is where we should stop. We don't belong anywhere closer to each other than what we've gotten so far. As a matter of fact, this is a perfect time for us to get off the boat without crashing. 
I think too often we, we, men and women for that matter, we feel entitled to a positive result from dating somebody. We feel entitled to a positive result from doing the quote unquote right things. Right. If I'm a, if I'm a, this, you can, you can see it in dudes. Right. I done, I done put the bread up. I done planned the dates. I done did all that. And, and she still ain't this, that, and the third. It's like, fam, was you on that because this is who you are? Or was you on that because you thought it would impress her? So, so I'm not saying nothing about you again. I'm just saying that like some dudes, we do all that pursuing. We get there and be bland as hell. Facts, man. I love that, man. That's a, that's a great message. Super great message. I don't really need to expound on it too much because, I mean, he didn't set it off, man. Have you ever just got to a point where you just did all this and you was just doing it out of the kindness and you're like, man, you have a curiosity. What is on the other side? She's throwing up a blockade. I'm going to get there. I'm going to get through. She finally says, yes, we go on the date. The conversation is horrible, right? There wasn't no, no chemistry. All right. Sometimes the chemistry isn't there. The physical attraction is, and that part is fine. You can get past the physical attraction part, but the true chemistry behind that, right? The the to see if this we can go on a second date, third date, and actually continue on. It's just not there, and that's uh, you know partially what he's talking about, and just giving you a brief example. Yeah, totally right. What does that mean to be friend zone? It means she don't like you, and it means she just wants to spend your money without giving you any cash. That's what it means. That's a public service announcement for all you simps, guys. Y'all just need to clip this and just send it to somebody that you just that needs to hear this. Yeah. Here you go. All right. Uh, give me your name, age, and uh, what do you do for a living? My name's Natalie. I'm 28, and I'm a manager at Wendy's. My name is. <laughs> My name is T and I'm 32. I hate the walk. I hate it so much. I hate it so bad. A manager at Wendy's, that's extreme for me. You is funny. Yes, she's right. I mean, college, I gotta pay for it somewhere. Yeah, no, nah, for sure. Is there any question you wanna ask her though? For me? Y'all still do that four for four? <laughs> no, actually, we don't. <laughs> Bro, that is cold. You pop it because she worked at Wendy's. <laughs> dangerous work. She said dating women as a manager at Wendy's is extreme for her. Come on, dog. Come on, bro. Now the walk, the walk was funny. If y'all rewind it back, she was walking like she had something hanging, bro. Like she had something hanging down there, dog. She was walking like a straight dude. But at the same time, bro, I can't blame her for working at Wendy's. She has a valid point, man. All right, she's just trying to get through college. She got to work somewhere. The hours probably fitting for her. She probably got kids. She got balance, all that. I'm not, I'm not taking up for her. But damn, you trying to throw shade at Wendy's, man? I love some Wendy's nuggets, man. Spicy nugs, you know? You know, say, say, say no to drugs. Say yes to nugs. Dude, why is he? That's a that's a lineman, my guy. You just took a you just took a sack from a defensive lineman type of shorty, dog. Just because your team lost, you gonna skip out on a check? It just seemed like he might have just been a lot like pretty much drunk at this point. But at, at the same time, bro, Dallas Cowboys always doing something to get they fans in trouble bro i promise you dog i feel bad for you dog y'all got the, some of the most loyal fan base i've ever seen man but i promise you them boys be putting y'all through some pain get the fuck get on help our dog stop what? Get, on. get out of here he's gonna get i don't want him to get him go. No. go 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 the kids in the back go go on Go on. Get! Get off our freaking porch! Go! Go! On. Go on! Get out of here! Come on, Ronnie! Baby, it's this is the wildest shit I've ever seen in my life. I don't know what to do. Here, I'm about to back. shoot him. Here, no, move up. Move Ronnie, come on. And let our dog in. Ronnie, come on. Man, does the, on, does the deer have a damn collar on? Am I tripping? Did y'all see that? Go now! Yes. 
Holy crap. It does have a collar on, man. I knew I wasn't tripping. What the hell is this, bro? Are they domesticating this deer? Man, what is going on, man? He probably think he's a dog at this point. He got a collar on while all around the dog. Okay. About to blow your dog's back out. Bro did not move, man. Y'all know what time it is. He wasn't trying to, yeah, he wasn't trying to hear all, hear all that, bro. Okay, then what's your credit score? Say what? My your credit, credit score? score? Yes. A high value Why are you asking all that? Credit. What's your credit score? It's in the high sevens. Hey, excuse me. Hey, call me when you need me. Call me when you want. Are you not even going to say hi or who Call you when you need me. <laughs> call me in the morning and I'll be on my way. What? That mean call me. Okay, what's your name? You're not even in My name is Hubert. Yourself. What? They call me Hubie. Hubert. Hubert? Yeah, they call me Hubie though. What's your name? I don't like the ass. Don't, just don't like Monique? the face. Yeah. Oh, okay. Already. You like you can ask some value to my high value man. That's why I came and talk to you. Oh, so you think you're a high value man? Yeah, I'm high value man. Yeah, okay. for sure. What's your shirt size? Say what? What's your shirt size? My shirt size? I wear large. What's your shoe size? I wear 11. They crispy. Okay, then what's your credit score? Say what? My your credit, credit score. score. Yes. Mm. Why are you asking all that? Photo. What's your what? credit score? It's in the high sevens. Okay, I'm almost in the high seven too. Almost? Almost. Mm -hmm. Work with me. Work with you how? Monique. It sounds like you need to work to get this credit score up. Oh, see, Ooh. I told you I'm in the highest, almost in the high seven. Almost? I don't, my credit, my credit cool. Okay. <laughs> see, that's good, but no. Oh, damn. So I can't get your phone number? I can't get it. So are you going to work on your credit? Are you going yeah, to work on it. get a card from Hertz? Yeah, I can rent cards from Hertz. <laughs> what are you talking? What? What's wrong with you? <laughs> You can take my number. Take your number? You okay. can take my number. Damn. <laughs> you hard to deal with already. I'm not. See? I'm just a high value. You said you want a high value woman. Okay. I want to know each other. Uh, All right. I'm going to lock you in. Damn. Hubie met his, uh, almost met his match on this one. He walked away with the number. I don't even think this is worth dialing at this point, dog. That was a lot of just ups and downs, man. That was a battle to get a number, bro. I didn't know you had to go and put your life on the line, your credit score on the line to, to get a phone number at this point, dog. So the question is, is she a red flag for asking this, all right? If you ever approach a woman and you're just, just generally just trying to pick her up, try to get a number, y'all y'all out in a public space, and the conversation leads to what's your credit score in the first 60 seconds, is that a red flag? What do you guys think? Man, legitimately, is she asking personal, too much personal information, dog? She might as well ask this man for his social security number at this point, dog. Like, at this point, like, hey, I, I feel like that's too personal. That's something that you would share later on down the line as you're getting to want, know one another. Maybe a part of the dating process, not, not in the initial stage of let me meet you in the first 30 seconds. But, yeah, I guess she was giving him the, the high-value male evaluation because he said that. And she just wanted to know. I don't understand what the shirt size and the shoe size come from but hey dog it is what it is and then when he wants to push forward she's like you gonna work on your credit that she was worried about that she was worried about now i know guys i know you're probably thinking there i wouldn't mind dating a female with some fire fire credit i don't know if that was her part part point of view but i'm saying a little bit of flaggish for me a little bit throw the flag on throw the flag down hi hi are you good I'm very good, and you? Good, thank you. Where do you come from? I'm from America. Oh, yeah. okay, good. I'm from France. Paris, you know? Oh, wow. I love Paris. Yeah? I love France. Yeah? I love French guys. Yeah? French food. Yeah? Bye baguettes. Yeah? Oh, baguettes. I have a big baguette. You know, don't worry. Oh. <laughs> Did you ever come to Paris? My boy, my boy's pickup line was, "I got a big get, I got a big baguette," you know. <laughs> Bro, I swear, no. When dudes use secondary, their secondary language to try to pick up girls, it's probably some of the funniest stuff you ever hear. Because like they're trying to be smooth and let it come off as smooth as possible, but no, sometimes it just doesn't translate. Damn. But now men actually want to get married and they want to settle down, but women are cheating. Like they're actually cheating. And what's crazy is like I know women that are cheating and they're super innocent and like their man has no idea. Oh boy. Oh boy, you don't even know. You don't even know just how true this is. But let me tell you something. I was friends with this one girl, right? She had a boyfriend. They was talking for a long time. They ended up becoming boyfriend, girlfriend, you know, all that good stuff. And uh we was talking one day and she was telling me how 
some dude this is crazy she was telling me how some dude paid her money to give him a foot job mm. right like i was like he you i said you i was like you did it she was like yeah like he paid me such and such amount of money and uh for me to give him a foot job and i was like dang that's crazy but then i sat there and i thought a little bit i was like wait a minute you've been around in a relationship for like two years i was like when this happened she was like oh like like a couple months ago I was like, a, you, I was like, wait, 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 you, somebody paid you to give them a foot job a couple months ago. And she was like, yeah, I was like, does your boyfriend know? She was like, no, he doesn't know. <sighs> it was crazy. Yeah. She would say stuff like this. Like she would do heinous acts behind his back. I probably, she's probably the, the, the type of woman that's, that's like, yo, as long as it's not penetration, it's not cheating. She just did just like that. If it's just, if I kiss them, it's not cheating. If I dated, if I went on a just lunch date, it's not cheating. All right. Uh, if I've used my, my feet, it's not cheating. If I use the back door, it's not cheating. She's going to be that type of woman that says that type of stuff. And like, by all means, man, they're going to act innocent as can be. That's why you just got to really know the person you're dating. And sometimes you, you can't even really know. You don't really know. It is going off the face system. Y'all know how the face system works, right? <laughs> sometimes it's just not, not what's up. Just voted. I did. And who did you vote for? For Harris. And tell me about how you came to this decision. So I wasn't going to vote at all until my girlfriend was blowing up my phone telling me to go vote and if i didn't she was gonna break up with me so now i'm here so so now that you voted what's gonna happen did you did the vote that you voted for my boy my boy my boy the first one he didn't really express if he was happy or not i don't think he gave a because i don't recall asking him either Damn. but i do remember him saying oh you'll be okay i do remember that the second one, yeah, I don't know. I have to keep thinking on that one. I really don't know. You don't know. The third one, though, when I told him, he um, then told me he had to tell his other baby mamas. Oh, yeah, but he didn't say whether he was mad or happy. It was weird, like, because the day I found out I was pregnant was the day I was leaving him the f alone. Like I dropped that nigga off at his auntie's house because <sighs> I took a plan B and I was on birth control. That's how much they wasn't supposed to be here. Yeah. Man, that just tell you right there, that wasn't even strong enough, man. Homie was hitting with 100% accuracy, man. At this point, he got the two for one special. Dog, at this point, when are you gonna say enough is enough? For real, for real. Like, when do you say enough is enough? I know you're crying about it, and I know you're sad about it, but every man that's logically thinking was just like the first one didn't care. The second one, you can't even remember if he cared or not. You thought the third one was gonna... At what point were you just gonna not just just stop you get what i'm saying so that's going to be always the logical first question why'd you just didn't stop at the first one why you didn't stop after the second one and now look what you at look where we at now what's going to happen when you try to meet a man that's not happening 